Okay, now we're on uh, turn 27. Pretty con you know, pretty sure that Titan is pushing uh, down the sunken lane, or going to push down the sunken lane with his infantry now. Hopefully we'll get some more spots on them uh, from the guys in the town, like the, uh, the guys in the church. Okay, they can't see, but these guys can. Uh, that'll do, and obviously we'll be keeping an eye to see if they push this way. But we now have uh, a Sherman, which is looking here. Hopefully it's going to spot the Hummel and take that out. We've also got the Hellcat is going to be popping up hull down here where it's going to have flanking shots on the side armor of the turrets uh, for the Panthers. So small target, but it's going to penetrate if it hits. Uh, and then, you know, we might even bag some half tracks and things as well. Uh, worst case scenario here, well, apart from, you know, losing the stuff, is that um, Titan is going to have to deal with the fact that uh, armor has popped up on his flank. He may be able to deal with with the King Tiger, which he's uh, adjusting. He's moving that around somewhere, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the Jackson, on the other hand, doesn't really need to be up there anymore. I'm not particularly worried about a Panzer IV lurking around there, uh, so that's going to be pulling back and getting into town. And I can do like what we've done with the Shermans, which is shuffle it around, and see what we can do with it from in there. But yeah, let's. Uh, Press the go button and see what we get here. Yep, people are shooting at the Sherman. So the first thing we're going to do is move that damn mortar team out of the way. And okay, so the King Tiger's popped up back there, is it? Maybe we shouldn't move the. Uh, that's a little bit of this mortar team is firing on the, the uh, all that stuff there. Come on, come on, Sherman, kill that half track full of people. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want there. The Hellcat looks a bit lost, but. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a half track full of dead pixel truffin right there. Awesome. That's what we want. Right, let's uh, let's do the, the usual checks. Uh, we were going to put some fire on these guys here. Uh, from the Greyhound that is behind us there. Like that, in fact. And these guys should be opening up as well. Didn't see any pings, so hopefully... Yeah, that looks like it might be quite effective. We've got some fetal positions going on there. And this guy gets shot. Of overshooting going on from the Greyhound here. But those guys, yeah, they're going to get to a point where they know they're in an untenable position and they're going to do one and that's going to just make it easier to kill them. Yeah, so hopefully we've given Titan something else to worry about on this flank. And let's check out. The King Tiger. What is the King Tiger doing? So, oh, that's that's that cheeky little bug again. It's all quite close to a TRP. So I'm not sure what it's supposed to be looking at. I mean. It would be quite nice, actually, to be honest, to get the Jackson to fire at it while it's like this, because, you know, if we hit this lower glacier plate here, it's just going to annihilate the whole tank. But, yeah, it's just set there. Let's just check the... Uh... 
Next to the Jackson's got away. Yes, that's fine. I think it's actually fairly snappy in reverse. Uh, so, the downside here is that I might actually need the Jackson over there because the uh, King Tiger has popped back up there. The upside is that that means the King Tiger has not come over here. Uh, and that's excellent. Now let's see uh, what we actually get here. So this um, was a bit of fire came this way, wasn't there? So we can't work out where that's from. Spider hole. What? It's hilarious. Unfortunately, this German can see an awful lot of nothing. The guys next to it can see the panther, so hopefully they're going to inform him about that. Just take a kind of distressingly, well, I suppose there's a lot of bushes. Fairly distressingly long time for them to spot anything. But, we know that they're going to take that out, and that's what we want here. Dude. Don't let anybody ever tell you the Sherman is not amazing. Uh, a bit of bonus fire here as well. Uh, one of these guys just got shot just at the end of the turn. So I'm not sure where that's from. Unless that's just like shrapnel going a long way, but, you know, it's a, it's a thing. Another half trap pushing up there. Yeah. Risky as hell. Moving uh, troops up in half tracks. If the enemy is hanging around. Because uh, in the last turn in the attack... I moved two half tracks up, um, right up to the suspected enemy position, but I had a, a ludicrous amount of suppressive fire going down, and there weren't any keyhole opportunities for the enemy uh, like this. So now, Titan's got a bit of a problem because he knows that this area is covered. Uh, anyway, let's check. Uh, yeah, what did the Hellcat do? I think it just got confused. Yeah, it's quite a difficult road, I suppose. Uh, it should be in position next turn. And to boot, uh, we'll have to see what Titan does with his Panthers. The ideal result here would be for him to put a target armor on. On, so they only engage armor, but facing this way without covering his flank off, that would be ideal because uh, that would mean that there'd be a few turns where the uh, where the Hellcat, or one or two turns where that the Hellcat would actually be basically have a free reign to uh, shoot at what it likes. That too much worry, but let's uh, let's see. This mortar team actually, I think, got a hit on top of the panther. Uh, so, because somehow they can, you know, despite the fact that they're down here, they can somehow target that area. I'm not sure how they're managing it, but uh, I'm not going to complain. Obviously, what would be great here would be for a, land, a round to land and kill the tank commander. Just, you know, knock his head off. But, uh, nope. Not happening. I am fairly certain, though, that Titan has infantry moving up this way, so... Forward top hill, where was that? That was there. That's not going to do very much. But uh, hopefully that's damaging the optics and things. 
Who? I'm not even gonna try to say that. Cool. Might actually see if I can target the Hummel. I'd like to see a round end in the end up in the back of the Hummel. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with how things are going. This has been a pretty good turn. What I need to consider here is who was firing at the Sherman at the start. Uh, I think if it's just a team here, the mortar team might be okay. It's almost certain. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the guy. We can see him. Not worth taking a pot shot at. Uh, but he's certainly shooting at the the, uh, the Sherman and not at the uh, not at the um, uh, 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 the mort team. So okay, let's uh, do a quick check just to see if I've missed anything. is all good. And I think how long does this take to deploy? 49 seconds. Okay, so that should be up and ready to go pretty much immediately. The first turn, and of course, it's now in a slightly different place than it was before. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, let's, let's get those guys on that. See if they can't get some revenge for all their dead buddies and their platoon. I'm not actually too sure what to do this with this mortar team now, though. Uh, definitely going to be getting some attention here because of that Sherman. I feel we might get the Sherman out of the way. Uh, do the same with these guys. Fire off a few rounds. So they only have a few bloody rounds. Um, hmm. I think they're fairly safe where they are. Let's leave them. Uh, the jeep's there in case they need to run away. We'll pop the Sherman back uh, just for a little bit. Uh, we can run away if we need to because we're in cover there. This Sherman here. Is this Sherman from this hold down position going to be exposed to the King Tiger? Probably not. Look at the size of that wood that's in the way, and let's just check the range as well. This might be more than a K. Well, yeah, there's definitely a line of sight there, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, sucks to be in that half track. That is a half track full of dead guys. Um, I'm sure we're swapping over there. And let's see, what can these guys see from here? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice, yeah. So they can't cover that direction, but they can cover the front of the village, so let's put that... Oh, they don't have any ammo, do they? Duh. Right. Ugh. Um, I 
Um, right, let's uh, push them into this house here. Where they can at least sort of see into this area here and can potentially put some fire down if we need them to. Because it never hurts to have more eyes. Yeah, did we give. Yeah, we gave plenty of orders to the jacks. That's cool. The. Um, Greyhound, this greyhound we can pull back a little bit again. So it doesn't need to be up there. Those two mortars, I feel like I maybe should be doing something with them, but I'm not. And let's see, what can we actually... We might get some overshoots there from that Greyhound just area firing the field. Um, so if we think about it, if we're looking at the um, at like the ballistic arc for this stuff coming down, it's going to have oh machine gun theory. Uh, it's going to have a, a long, narrow like if you think a kind of narrow cigar shaped uh, beaten zone which is because uh, the trajectory of the bullets is going to vary in um, like lengthways as we look at it like this because of the recoil of the gun but it's not going to vary very much horizontally because it's on a fixed bearing uh, so what you get is you get where the rounds are falling you're going to get like a kind of long thin uh, cigar or capsule shaped area called the beaten zone which is where all the bullets are landing and because of the natural inaccuracy of it, uh, though it's going to vary, you know, the, the length and size of the, the beating zone changes due to the range and the trajectory and the angle and all that stuff. But hopefully we might get some overshoots from it, which are going to hit around these guys and at the very least make Titan go, uh-oh, we're being shot at. Uh, without revealing the position of much of my stuff um, in the village. I learn a little bit more every day. Yeah, let's really hope we can put a mortar around. Uh, it's quite short range, that. How far is that? About 250 meters? Um, if we can get some mortar rounds on top of the Hummel, I will, you know, be a happy hapless. Right, let's. Uh, things are looking up here. Let's press. Go. My only concern is what that King Tiger might do, but I can live with that. Okay, last turn uh, we got into the church. We took a, a couple of casualties, one from a uh, mortar round or mortar fragment because uh, Titan's mortaring this front house, which is why it doesn't have a lot of people in it. Um, and we killed off there was a bazooka team that uh, snuck in here and we, uh, we took them out, but we lost the guy in the process. We're now going to push these guys into the church, uh, then we're going to move on to the church tower, then we're going to move on to this part of the village, and the next part, and then, you know, we're just going to keep biting off bits of uh, terrain here. Well, um, yeah, lots of machine gun fire still going absolutely everywhere. These MGs should be moving up here. I don't think they're going to get there in time this turn, uh, but I want them here in, uh, in the nave of the church. That way, I, that's going to free up these guys, the infantry, to clear the bell tower. Once the bell tower is clear and these buildings are suppressed, uh, the MGs can go up the bell tower. See, it's all coming together. Uh, could get messy because, you know, we are getting mortared. Uh, there's almost certainly uh, some residual American forces in the bell tower, which we're going to have to fight. Uh, there's also probably guys in these houses too. Uh, so, we will see how it goes, but... Um, 
there is so little of my force uh, up forward. So if you think I have six infantry platoons, one of them is up here getting mortars, and the others are, you know, not going to have any problems with anything. It's that little sniper team out on the flank, which is doing absolutely nothing. He says, probably moments before a tank commander has his brains ventilated. Realistically, the only real problem with doing it like this is A, I'm using a lot of ammunition, and B, I'm going to have to stop that mortar. That's uh, friendly mortar rounds coming in on that. Fo oh, those foxholes we spotted there. Um, a, I'm using a lot of ammo, and B, see, no casualties that turn. That's a good turn. Um, I can't tell if anything. I'm putting so much suppressive fire down that I can't tell if anything actually kicks off and happens, because all I can hear is machine gun fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these guys might be getting a bit suppressed, a bit pinned, but that, that's cool. Team there just clearing the uh, the upper floors of the nave as well because it's a three-story building. Uh, but yeah, not a lot going on. Oh, oh, oh! Actually, you guys were out of sight. We couldn't see you. More foxholes. That is a funny place to put put some foxholes. Who can see you? guys in the church see this is why the church is such a good position once we get up there we're going to be able to see so much stuff let's uh, swap the mortar out because it's let's be honest probably screwed those guys over I mean in fact was that a uh, a direct hit inside a foxhole ouch yeah I bet that hurt if there's someone in there Saves on burial duty, I suppose. Now let's just give this a whole like a whole map check just to see. Yeah, this have we got a contact down here again as well? Is that firmed up a bit, didn't it? Definitely a HMG though. Thought we might have seen something, and then it, it goes to a contact icon. But no, that's cool. Nothing more to see there, I don't think. Let's start mortaring him. If we can. Luckily, we have a nice aiming point. can see over there. It is actually a bit of a reverse slope position, I'll give him that at least. I don't think... Uh... Oh. Fair enough, yeah. Not sure how we're going to deal with that. Oh wait, we're going to get up in the church tower and shoot everything. That's what we're going to do. is my solution to pretty much all of these problems. Just 
more machine gun fire. Let's uh, dip our toe in the... Uh, Can we get through there? Are there doors? No, there's not. Well, let's make sure we check the loft with these guys first. And then uh, get them downstairs, and then next turn we'll push into the bell tower. And just in case, uh, we better give orders for all these guys to leg it out of the uh, uh, leg it out of the half track as soon as they can Yeah, those guys are supposed to be shooting, but I don't think they are, so... Oh, there might be. I don't think it's going to make a difference, though. Yeah, now we're, we're kind of cooking a bit now. Let's uh, just press go on that. Keep it simple. 